<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to show how crazy the mornings are around here. She bit down. It's 8 a.m. They've been up for a while. We've been outside and had breakfast, and they are just all playful this morning. I want to say wild, but <laughs> we'll go with playful. Sheba is just all emotional, wants to be held and spoiled, which I have held her and spoiled her this morning. Even laid with her on the bed. Quit, Delilah. Don't come and get me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you're... You're so playful. No, she's wild. She's outright wild. Delilah the wild. Ah, no. <laughs> Down. <laughs> they are wild this morning. Jericho's been over here in my lap. Sheba's been in my lap. Nope. Down. Go. Down. And the candy and Chloe and Ray Ray. Okay. They're wild. <laughs> Everybody's wild this morning. Get, y'all. Get off of me. Get off of me. You wild things. Look at you, Ray Ray. You're such a pretty girl. Oh. I tell you, you can't get close to one. All the, all the attention hogs get right in the way. Uh, somebody commented and asked what Sheba weighs. And I put her on the scales this morning because she is getting bigger. She normally weighs around 22 pounds. The last vet visit was about 22. And I have scales. I weigh them every so often. But this morning she weighed to a whopping 25 pounds. So I'm assuming it's because she's pregnant. And we're watching her body change. She is getting bigger. I suspect she's probably going to get huge before she delivers. We will see. And this little girl, Candy, Candy, she's a wild girl. She likes to get inside the toy box. I call her and Chloe my toy box collection because they get in the toy box and play all the time. And you're just gorgeous. Yes, you are. That's little Chloe. Chloe, and of course Sheba again. Sheba, ugh, your mouth is all wet. She just got water. And Jericho and Delilah, the couch potatoes. Who hold that couch down, don't you, big boy? Who hold it down? Gathering all the toys they can get so they can keep them away from the babies. Chloe and Candy can't get on the couch yet on their own, although Chloe is very, very close. She hops and hops and hops. She can grab stuff off of the couch, but she hadn't made it onto the couch yet. But anyway, this is just what we're doing this morning. They greet me every morning when I get up, and uh, they've been used to getting puppy food the moment I walk in the room and now they're getting the girls are getting bigger and a little bit older so I'm making them wait until I sit down with a cup of coffee and then I'll get up and go get it. Hey, did you knock it off goofballs? And uh, so now they're having to wait and not be so demanding when I first walk in the room. And uh, they're doing pretty good on that. I'm loving that we have so much sunshine. They're all getting to play outside a lot. But they are going through a phase, too. All my dogs have gone through it at this, this age with Chloe and, and Candace. They're about 12, 13, 14 weeks old. And when they spend very much time outside, they... They go through upset stomachs because they literally eat everything. Tree bark, rocks, grass, and the roots, and just anything they can pick up out there and put in their mouths, they'll eat it. So it upsets their tummies. So uh, that's just a phase we go through every time we have puppies. 
but uh, they're doing okay right now, but the other day, I mean, they all had some kind of upset tummy because they, they ate a root or something out there in the yard. And I've gone over the yard. There's nothing poisonous or dangerous in that way out there, but, and it doesn't really matter when they eat stuff that's, that's not on their regular diet, it will affect their stomachs. Their tummies will get upset and uh, poop will look messy. And I have uh, probiotics I give them during that time that just kind of helps keep their tummies uh, more balanced. And just be glad when they get through it. That's just kind of a phase. They don't really continue to do that. And we continually go over our yard and make sure there's nothing out there. Sometimes something from the neighbors will end up in our yard. We just, we're always trying to keep a watch and make sure there's nothing out there that can hurt them. But then there's, you know, there's some things you can't, you can't do away with the ground. <laughs> so you just have to deal with it until they get old enough to know better and know that's not good. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're just enjoying the sunshine and the playtime and uh, watching them play. They're, they do this every morning. They do this every night. They go out during the day quite a bit and do it outside, but every time they come in, they'll, they'll wrestle and play and run so hard until they finally just drop and take a nap. So, anyway, that's our morning update. We'll be back later this afternoon. And watch you goofballs. Get out of there, Ray. <laughs> Sheba wants you to leave her alone. She's trying to chew on a toy. she got a bone. Sheba's got a bone, and they're all trying to get it. Candy, you're right up under her, trying to steal her bone. <clears throat> I've got pretty good adult dogs. They'll take a lot from them puppies. Yep, she won the bone, didn't she? But every now and then, one of the older ones will will line them out. She will line them out before the day's over with. <laughs> You're such a pretty girl.